Okay, so hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this new video. So in this video, I wanna show you guys a blinding success for an ability we're gonna explode and how we can uh, hijack a session token and then we can log in as the admin and do things as the admin in an admin panel. I think this is a really fun attack and I wanted to show you guys this attack because I think it's a little bit more complex. You need to set up your own server, do some requests and get some data. But I think the, the first part of this uh, video where you can see like how you can spot blinding success just by turning on your own server and capturing the responses. I think this is really, really helpful, especially when you're doing bug bounty. I think you should test for this too if you get, uh, didn't get response, uh, if you don't get response in the browser itself. So let's say you have an input field and your input is test. You never see test, but it's going back to the backend and you don't know if it can be exploited. Then it's just a really good, uh, a good way to, 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 test your, uh, to test the code if it is exploitable. Second thing is if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And you can also share this video so that I can help some more people. And if you guys wanna join the Discord community, just follow the link down below. I hope it doesn't disappear this time because the last time it just got removed. I have no idea why, but I will put it down below and I will check afterwards again if the link is still available. So now let's try to exploit this machine and have, have some fun. <laughs> okay, so let's hunt for some blinds XXS. So I think this is a really fun challenge. So I wanna show you guys how you can do this, how you can set up your server and to find the blind XXS vulnerability and how you can then do a, a session hijacking to steal cookies or things like that. So first, this is the website we're gonna work on. Uh, the payloads of the XXS itself doesn't need to be too, uh, too hard. So you can focus on easy payloads. If an easy payload will not fire it up, then you can continue searching for another XXS. Okay, so first when you come here, you see the search bar. We can test this by using something. You see this is a bubla. What we can do in here is we can try to escape it. Uh, we know it's in a, in a spam tag. Uh, what we then can do is we can try to figure out, uh, fire up a basic, uh, basic XXS attack source x x. So if we already see something popping up, like uh, an image or things like that, then it will work. Okay, so no, it's not working. Okay, so we can continue. Like I said, just look for basic XXS examples. Don't look too hard because this. Uh, exercise focus more on how you can hijack a, a session with blind XXS. So continue scrolling down the website. We find this leave a comment post so we can make comments. But if you read through this part, you will see note comments must be approved by an admin. Uh, so when you submit, they will not uh, appear back to the website. So you already know if you want to check this out, you need to check for a blind XXS vulnerability. And so that's what we're going to do. To check for a blind XXS vulnerability, we need a couple of things. First off, you need like your IP address. So we're going through this tunnel A. Uh, it's 10, 10, 16, 25 for me. Okay, that's great. Next thing what we want to do is we want to set up a payload. So what we're gonna do, like I said, just keep the payloads easy. We're gonna, we're gonna close one. We're gonna make a script tag. In the script tag, we're gonna set a source. Source gonna be equal to HTTP and then our IP address, of course. Uh, our IP address and it's gonna be 33. We're gonna select the port, let's say 3333. And we're gonna add something. So with the first thing we're gonna say, let's for example, comment, because this is the comment part. So if it triggers, you know which one is vulnerable uh, for an XXS payload. So we're gonna do this. This is gonna be like a name. And this is gonna be the website. Website. Email is a little bit more difficult because normally they ask, uh, they, they look for email structure. And for this example, we're just gonna 
leave it by the email if you don't find anything we can try and bypass this uh, we can try and bypass the security uh, of the of the email to to, to try and figure out next success okay but I think this is okay but we still don't know if this works because we need to launch a server so what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch a pseudo a PHP server like this on port 3333 of course you okay so our server is started next off what we want to do is we want to send this to the target uh, we can save this for uh, let's do one more check 10 10 16 25 2, 2, 3 comment source oh we did forget to close the script text my bad let's see like otherwise it will not fire so we need of course closing the script text back again okay here and we're gonna close the script text here okay let's post this and while this is going to post, I will take a sip of my water. And uh, let's look into this part. Okay, so we see we have found an XSS vulnerability in the website part. So in this one. Okay, so that's really nice. So we can change this part. What we want to do is we want to create a JavaScript file because we're gonna to try to hijack their, uh, we're gonna try and hijack their session cooking. So let's close this for a second. Let's say sudo nano, let's make script.js of course. And what we're gonna create here is we wanna create a, a JavaScript file that's gonna say like new image, image uh, that source because we wanna have the, the, the source for, uh, so when it's load this image, it's gonna go to a source and that source is again going to be our IP address. So in this case, our IP address was like HTTP, HTTP it was 10.10.16.25, I think, Ooh, that's 25. And it's running on port 3333. And when it's triggering this, we wanna trigger some uh, index dot we want to uh, trigger some Python because we're going to write a Python file afterwards that's going to uh, do a command and the command equals and we're going to add the cookie so add is a document dot cookie and we're going to close this one so what this is going to do is we're going to send this request to their server they are going to make back a request to our server uh, and our server is gonna have this uh, working on it. What I'm thinking right now is, will we do this one in Python or PHP? Because normally I make this one in Python and PHP, not in Python. But let's just check out if this also ooh, works in in the uh, control O control Q. If this also works in Python. So let's sudo nano uh, file the Python. Oh, not file. I need to be. It needs to be indexed in Python. Indexed in Python. Okay, because we named it index, of course. Uh, what we want to do here? Let's grab real fast Visual Studio Code and let's code it here. Copy it and paste it in the other one. So we want to import uh, the URL library. URL. Oops, sorry, lowercase. URL lib. When we have done this, we're gonna look for the C if. Uh, we have this uh, lowercase c from command in request dot args request dot args okay let's go that did i mistype something request okay yes i did re uh, make the typo over there so don't make typos it's really horrible then we say cookie underscore the cookie list gonna be equals to the request request dot args args and then we're gonna take oop, the c so the command and we're gonna split it uh, and we're gonna split it away 
when we have the dash comma like this this one so we're gonna split it on the uh, the, the the dot dot comma then we're gonna say like for value value in now cookie list just every value in the cookie list you're gonna say the cookie is going to be uh, the URL lib <laughs> dot parse URL lib dot URL lib dot parse hmm why oh why why what, what am I doing right here like I need this this part if C in request can we like can we do this request but why it's always okay let's just continue this rel dot parse and when we have the sparse, we have unicode, I think then it's gonna be the value, of course. Okay, then we're gonna open with uh, open, it's gonna be the cookie, cookie, and it's gonna be like the A, A plus, A plus, this one, this one. Oh, I did change something. Oh no, I did not change something. Okay, and then we're gonna say as a file, of course, file, and then hop, we can drop down. So we're gonna open it as a file, and then we can say file dot write. We wanna write, and what do we wanna write? We wanna write, uh, oh, sorry, like what do I, I, oh, I just wanna write like the cookie for God's sakes, cookie, and we're gonna say like cookie. That's gonna be the cookie. Okay. Okay, okay, this is the code we have. We're gonna copy this. And so we're just gonna extract like the cookie. We're gonna write this, save this. Let's make sure it's in here. Uh, let's sudo nano for a second script. Then we change this to pi index.py. So we have the source. Yes, yes, 16, I think this is, oh, did I, I think HTTP, I think this is good. So let's go out of this. Okay, so what, what did we have done now? Just to recap it real fast, uh, because coding and speaking and thinking is not that easy as it looked like. <laughs> so we're gonna send the request again here. We're gonna take this request, but instead of going to website, we're going to our script.js. So we're going, uh, our browser is, is, is in hacking. In hacking, we have this, uh, when we ls this, we have this script.js. This script.js is gonna create like a new image, huh? but a source, and that source is gonna grab our index.py. And from this index.py, we're gonna send the cookie back to our uh, to our server so we can read the cookie. So that's what needs to be happening. Uh, let's say Bubla, uh, let's change my name to Bubla. And we have here the script. Okay, I think, let's just try this out, like for sure. Let's try if it works. Okay, nice. So what you see in here is it works. So what did we do? We exploited the script. So it's gonna get the script and it's gonna resend through the index.py and it's gonna send us all the cookies that it has. And like you see in here, we found the flag for this, uh, this room's cookie. So I think this is really interesting because when 
you think there is no possibility to see if an XXS is working, you still can try to launch your own server and just try to make back connection with them. Or if you can use Burp Pro to set up a server, you can also do this in Burp Pro. But I think it's more interesting to do it this way because you have all the functionality of your Linux. And yeah, that's a lot of functionality, of course. So I hope you guys uh, liked this video and think this was interesting because I think it's a really nice setup of an attack and you can do both payloads like I did it in Python because I know how to code better in Python, but I also like uh, tested a script uh, with PHP, but my PHP is really not that good. So this is a working script for PHP, uh, but I, I looked it up for, for scripts to uh, hijack sessions and this is a working one. But like I said, like PHP is not my my, my strongest uh, programming language. I, I really suck at PHP. I really need to, to learn learn it a bit better. But you can also do it in Python like I did. And that's I think it's way easier to, to program it in Python. So you can go both ways. You probably can do it in a lot more things. But I think those are the two go-to things. You maybe can even do it in Bash. Uh, but like you see, it works. So I'm happy and I hope you guys liked the video and I see you guys in the next one.